At the State Fair, we always see rows of food and buildings full of businesses, but we may not expect to see this. We have European brown and Syrian brown, um, all subspecies in the brown bear umbrella. That's right, bears. Several bears are many miles from their home at Bear Dice Ranch in Florida, showing off some of their moves. Watching them goof around or, or splash in the pool and, you know, just be bears and showing their personalities, how that comes out. Bear trainer Monica Weldy has been doing this for many years and treats the furry creatures like her own. They've been in our family 90 years. We've also adopted bears over the years that need homes. Look at that, she knows how to pick it up all by herself. They're all so individual and different, just like, you know, your kids. The crowd has a very good time at the show, especially when the big animals give hugs and kisses. Well, they are very human-like in a way, but the kisses and the hugs are come out from the rapport and the relationship we have with our animals. It's mutual love and respect. Trainers love the interaction between the crowd and the animals because people get to see how much love comes from a bear hug. We use our bears as ambassadors for Bears in the Wild to teach people about bears and what's happening to them. And up on the ball, loop, Tootsie goes. Unfortunately, all bears in the wild are threatened and endangered. All species of bears, um, some more than others, depending on what part of the world they're coming from. It's up to us, we're their protectors, and it's up to us to preserve their habitats so they can survive on our planet. The show also aims to teach crowds how to care for the animals. I love them all. From the North Dakota State Fairgrounds, Alexis Arthur, KX News.